This is a short video on how to make a cow. And I had uploaded this in a live stream, but for some reason the voice didn't work. So I'm having to do a voice over here. <clears throat> First thing we do is I, I made a pattern and I cut out two sides that fit the fuselage perfectly. And I also cut out the blocks. I had to mill them on a bandsaw and sand them square and so on and so forth. But you'll notice that the uh, fuselage side fits perfectly. It's out a quarter inch contest balsa. And I don't have a exhaust hole cut in it as of yet. But that's alright. We'll add that when the uh, cowl is finished. as shown here. Now normally when I do these cows I just put the blocks up there and then tack them together. You don't want to glue it all the way because you might have to adjust or move or what have you. So first I put the nose piece in and I have to make sure that I have it orient oriented right. And of course you want to sand these things to fit perfectly. That, you know, when you do these things uh, a step at a time and each piece fits as close as possible, you have less to do at the end. There's no major cleanup, so to speak. So there we're tacking it together. And if I remember, I'm, I'm just, like I say, I'm doing a voiceover on this now, so... I had it explained pretty well when I went through it the first time but I'm gonna to have to remove that first video I have that figured out now I didn't have the sound turned on later today we'll do another stream and hopefully I can make that work so there's the uh, top or the bottom being added <clears throat> and I push it up till everything fits tight and then add a drop of glue or what have you. You don't wanna don't wanna glue these solid yet, because trust me, there's always some type of adjustment to do to get it to fit perfect. As you can see here, I'm adjusting the blocks so that they fit close. When I do wick the glue on it, there's something to glue to. It's not gluing to outer space. Push it down tight, drop a glue. This is the absolute fastest way I know how to make a cow. In the old days, <clears throat> we used to carve them out of one solid piece. First off, you can't get a, get a big block, one solid piece that's light. If I remember right, this uh, whole apparatus weighed 1.7 ounces, which is pretty healthy. But we'll get it down to a quarter ounce after I remove everything that doesn't look like a cow. <laughs> Here I'm tacking it in place. And we'll take it on and off and make sure that it fits good. Of course, the way that I do these cowls with a dowel in the front and the nose ring, I do have to loosen it up a little bit or else you won't be able to get it on and off. It takes about a sixteenth of an inch play because that's all we have sticking out. But there you have it. And now all that's left is to carve and sand it to shape. Since making this movie, I have taken the block plane and planed off the edges here. Till it's close to the uh, fuselage 
shape. And the more I look at this bottom block, the more on the airplane, the more I'm thinking I may cut it off and redo it. And do it like I did the top with two pieces of 16th and white glue. Of course, we are very light on this airplane, and I don't want to give that up just for a couple of sawed horse looking things. It's it's really light. If I if I were to fly it as is, it'd be 40, I think it was 44 ounces. And we do want to end up around 56 ounces on this airplane. So I might just uh, finish it as it depends on <laughs> on how much it aggravates me. Check and recheck. Make sure that it fits the way you want it to fit. Adjust it now. Otherwise, in the end, you'll be kicking yourself in the rear. And that's basically it. It's uh, not like it's an all-day process. I take a, a center line and draw it right down the center so we can get it pretty symmetrical. And as I stated, since uh, making this movie, I did take the block plane and plane it in and make it round and when I come back later today I will uh, show the product and the finishing up where we're going to edge it and uh, and hollow it make sure you glue the inside now because remember it was only tacked before and you want to turn this into a something you can work with so glue it good, wick it down on the inside and the outside. This cowl will get fiberglassed so we can uh, we can basically thin it out till it's about well oh, I don't know, 332nd, 16th of an inch thick. I want this cowl to weigh around a quarter ounce when it's done because I don't foresee I hope not to have to add any nose weight. Of course, I do have a muffler, uh, an art admission muffler that I've been dying to use. Last night I did the calculation. I lengthened the nose to 10 and an eighth on this airplane, but I also took a three-quarter prop extension and moved the motor back. So the actual efficient nose moment of this airplane is nine and three eighths. That's very short, so we got to keep it real light or it will end up tail heavy. Well, I really appreciate you watching uh, my channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share my videos. That's probably the, uh, the most important thing. We're growing pretty good as far as the... Uh, as far as the channel goes and I'll kind of end with that and, uh, you guys have a good uh, good day and we'll see you on the next reel fair winds guidelines see ya